evening, everyone. You're watching WNWO News at 11 o'clock. I'm Angie Gonzalez. We're going to get to those stories and more in a moment. But first, your big story this evening, as we're now learning that this year's harsh winter allowed a deadly virus to thrive. But it's your pocketbook, not your health, that you should be concerned about. WNWO's Joe Thompson spoke with a farmer today about the illness affecting pigs. He joins us now live in the studio with that story. Joe. Angie, it's known as the porcine epidemic diarrhea virus, or PED for short, and was first discovered in the U.S. last year. And now the deadly swine virus is causing pork prices to shoot up, costing you more at the grocery store. The Reynolds farm in Southern Wood County raises around 1,000 pigs every year. This winter, they were one of the lucky ones, avoiding the PED virus that the U.S. Department of Agriculture says has killed more than one million pigs across the country since December. What it is is a, a nasty diarrhea virus that uh, basically every nutrient that little pig takes in uh, goes right through them and through, you know, lack of, of nutrient uptake and, um, you know, dehydration. Um, it just, it wilts them away and it's about 100% mortality rate in, in anything under 14 days of age. While the PED virus is fatal to baby pigs, farmers and the government say it poses no health risk to humans or to the food supply. It's only can infect pigs. Um, nothing else can be infected by it like a human from meat consumption can't be infected by that or even standing next to an infected animal can't be infected that way and any other animals it has no effect on and it's it's just a swine virus only but the loss of pigs is already causing sticker shock in the grocery store and it may not be over the wall street journal estimates pork prices could climb another three percent by the end of this year we hauled some pigs to market uh two weeks ago and we've already seen some prices that we've never seen before and uh, from what we know that that's just going to keep going and going because the the severe toll was in january when a lot of hogs were lost and you know those pigs are being ready for market here soon. For now, the Reynolds are doing everything they can to keep their farm PED free. There's nothing at this point that uh, that's a vaccine or anything or any form of treatment. But that is something that could change. Both the pork industry and the federal government are pouring extra money into research to develop a vaccine for the PED virus. The government is also redirecting funds to help farmers who lost most of their pigs to the virus. Reporting live in the studio, Joe Thompson, WNWO News.